Hi guys, in this video I'm going to dive into all the features of the Rode Wireless Pro. So this new wireless microphone system from Rode is sort of a, a culmination of all the things that they've done and developed over the years with their other wireless microphone systems. Uh, plus, they've added a few other new features, the two main ones being the 32-bit float internal recordings and also a time code generator. Just a heads up, this video is not sponsored by Rode. Uh, I got these microphones thanks to the guys at VNH, so a heads up and a big thank you to them for always supporting my work. Uh, this video, however, is sponsored by all of you who buy my LUTs and filmmaking tutorials on my website at tomantosfilms.com. So the Rode Wireless Pro comes really with everything that you need to, to be able to record really professional quality audio. So uh, just like with the Rode Wireless Go 2, you get your receiver and you got two transmitters with built-in microphones and you can just use it like this if you wanted to. But uh, included in the kit, you'll also get these two cases. The two cases look very similar, but this one actually holds all of your accessories, while this one is for holding the actual transmitters and receiver. Uh, so as you can see inside here, you have little docking stations with USB uh, plugs in there, and then you can essentially just take these, plug them in here, and it will automatically, first of all, start charging for you the transmitter and the receivers, because the case itself here on the bottom has a built-in uh, battery, uh, and you can charge that battery using the USB-C connection here in the back. Another really cool thing about this case is that once you have all of your transmitters and the receiver in there, you can plug in just one USB-C cable and plug that into your phone or your computer, and you'll be able to change all of the settings, update the firmware and all that stuff, uh, basically all at once to, to both of the transmitters and the receiver. It's also just a nice case, it's padded obviously inside and it's just gonna protect your unit and together with the built-in battery and the batteries in the, uh, each of the transmitters and the receiver, you'll get about 21 hours of battery life. Now this other case, uh, it has all of your accessories. They do provide you with all the cables that you need to be able to plug in the, the system to your uh, your iPhone, Android phone, or, or your computer. Also your audio cables, you can plug in the receiver to your camera or audio recorder. Uh, another cool little thing that I uh, like that they added are these little magnetic clips. So you can put these uh, basically onto your transmitters, or receiver too actually if you wanted to. And then you can use the little magnets that they provide. As you can see they're very strong. And these magnets uh, will allow you to, for example, put it here like in between your shirt, you can clip, clip it into your clothing, and this way, if you don't have any like a good spot here on your clothing to clip it to, you can use these. Now, they also include two Rode Lav microphones. These are really good quality microphones, and you get, like I said, two of these, plus two uh, the windscreens for them. You do get also the two windscreens for the uh, built-in microphones in the transmitters uh, themselves. So if you don't want to use the labs, you can still use that and have the wind protection. Uh, and then you also get all of these little things, like for example, the little color-coded uh, rings that you can put in there, the clips for the labs, uh, the little, the smaller little windscreens for the labs, all these little accessories. So, like I said, pretty much everything that you need to be able to record good audio, aside from your audio recorder or your camera. Now, when it comes to the actual design of the transmitters or the receiver, they're pretty much identical to the Rode Wireless Go 2 or Rode Wireless ME systems as in the same shape, size, all that stuff. They do have a shiny new surface here on the front. And really the other big noticeable thing is that the three and a half millimeter uh, microphone jacks on the transmitters are now threaded. So whether you're using, for example, the laughs that they give you, or actually you know, pretty much any other microphones that have threads on them, uh, this will work with it. So it will allow you to basically thread this in and this way you know that the microphones aren't gonna accidentally unplug from the transmitters. Uh, and you know, it's just a nice little pro feature, you could say, uh, that allows you to properly and securely attach your microphones. Another little thing you'll notice is on the top of the transmitters, you have a little extra button here next to the LED lights. And that's actually to be able to uh, manually trigger the internal recordings or the backup internal recordings on the transmitters. With the Rode Wireless Go 2 system, it would automatically just basically start recording for you. Well now, uh, even if you don't have the receiver turned on, you could just have one of these transmitters on and you can just manually start and stop the recordings, which essentially means that now one of these transmitters is a professional audio recording device. And it's so cool that it's you know, so tiny. 
Not only that, but like I said, one of the key new features is that it has 32-bit float recording. Essentially what that means is that you no longer have to worry about adjusting audio levels uh, when it comes to the internal recordings here, because 32-bit float uh, recordings have such wide, you could say, dynamic range of your audio recordings that whether your audio is, for example, really, really low, really quiet, well, on post you can just bring up and you can really increase the, the audio levels without worrying about the noise floor being also raised up and ruining your audio, or vice versa. If, for example, you, you get too hot and let's say the audio actually ends up clipping, well, again, in post you can bring that down and you have all of that actual good quality uh, audio on the higher end of the audio waveform. So basically what this means now is that one of these transmitters is an all-in-one really powerful audio recorder uh, because you can use in the built-in uh, uh, microphone that's in here to actually capture audio or you can plug in any microphone, uh, a lav mic or you can plug in like a directional shotgun microphone into this. And, uh, and the great thing is, like I said, you can just hit record on it uh, and, and stop the recordings whenever you want to, but you don't have to fuss around anymore with the uh, uh, audio levels because you know that because of the 32-bit flow recordings, you're going to be good. doesn't matter how loud or quiet uh, the, the audio might be that you're capturing. Uh, another great thing now is that the Wireless Pro receiver has an amplified headphone jack, which means that you can use this to actually monitor your audio. Obviously, like I said, you don't have to worry about monitoring the levels of the audio or, or adjusting it in your recording, but you still want to be able to monitor, for example, if you were to plug this to a, like a, a shotgun microphone. So you want to be able to monitor where the microphone is actually pointing and maybe let's say how far or close it is to the subject. So, so it captures different kind of frequencies. And so now essentially with this thing, you could take the, the receiver, you could attach it, just clip it right to your headphones, and then you can plug your headphones into it and you can use this as a wireless uh, sort of a audio monitoring system. And then with this transmitter, one or two of these transmitters, again, you can plug in a shotgun mic, a lav mic, whatever. Uh, and if you wanted to, you can even mount that uh, again on a boom pole and you'll be able to wirelessly now monitor your audio, make sure that the microphone is always pointed in the right direction. So uh, again, now, even if you don't wanna use this to record like the traditional wireless audio onto your camera, just with, with the, all the features that the system provides, like I said, you can kind of use it in different ways. And this is definitely something that I see myself using as like having a tiny little handheld, for example, shotgun mic. And this way with that audio setup, I can walk around and capture really good quality 32-bit float audio recordings. And then again, having wireless headphones or being able to turn any headphones into wireless headphones. So I can walk around cable free and be able to monitor my audio. So as you guys can see, there's a lot of different possible uh, uses that you can have for this wireless microphone system. And by the way, with the built-in memory on the transmitters, you'll be able to record up to 44 hours of the 32-bit float audio recordings. So now I'm gonna do the long range test. It's advertised to work up to 853 feet of distance. This is 70 feet of distance. This is how it sounds. Should have no problem at this distance. Now, uh, once I turn around, a lot of these systems fail when it to the back. You can see the microphone the chest. Uh, so again, a lot of these systems. And now I'm 150 feet away from the camera, uh, according to Google Maps. So anyways, I'll keep on walking. And this is 200 feet away from the camera. This is how it sounds. Now I'm gonna turn around. Now I'm 500 feet away from the camera. This is how I sound. Uh, this is a direct line of sight. Now I'm gonna turn around. 850 feet away from the camera. Uh, hopefully you guys can hear me. And again, this is how it sounds direct. All right, I'm back. So hopefully this test gives you guys a good idea of what you can expect when it comes to the long range uh, working distance of the system. Another great feature that they added to this microphone system is the auto gain settings uh, that they have in the Rode Wireless ME system. Now I know a lot of professionals won't probably use this, especially if you're gonna be recording internally in 32-bit float, because again, you don't have to worry about the levels. But if you're gonna be recording on your camera or your audio device through the receiver, uh, then having that auto gain functionality I think is, is great. Uh, if you guys seen my review of the Rode Wireless ME, and uh, if you haven't, maybe go check it out. You'll be able to see the different settings that they allow you to have. And you'll be able to also hear the different audio samples uh, of the different settings. So you can really see just how well their auto gain uh, settings perform in the different scenarios. 
And so again, it's just nice to have that feature. Again, if you're a pro and you don't think you'll ever need that, then you don't have to have it on. But if you wanna have it on, especially like I said, for these kind of YouTube videos or quick run and gun interviews, again, it's, it's a great feature. So I'm, I'm glad that they included this. Now, another amazing feature with the Rode Wireless Pro is the built-in time code generator. So the receiver will be able to generate time code and it wirelessly syncs up the two uh, portable recorders slash uh, transmitters. Now, if you're gonna be working with a pro camera that has time code capability, you'll be able to uh, plug the, the receiver and, and jam that camera using like a BNC or Limo cables. Those cables are not included in the kit, so you will have to buy those separately. Uh, now, if you're gonna be connecting this to a camera that does not have built-in time code, you can still actually get time code in there by recording a, a special audio track on one of your audio channels uh, that will actually pr basically contain your uh, time code. That, and this is something that's recognizable by most video editing software out there. Uh, and again, to do that, you'll be able to just do it using a, the three and a half millimeter cable that actually is provided uh, in this kit. Now, when it comes to the time code, you can do free run or time of day. And Rode also does suggest that you rejam all of your audio recorders or cameras that you have uh, about every four hours throughout the day to avoid any kind of possible drifting. Another nice little improvement that they added is the display just shows you now a lot more information and also the two buttons here on the bottom uh, will allow you to change most of the settings without having to connect to the Rode Central app which just speeds up everything. So as you can see you have different uh, buttons here or it actually shows you here on the display what the different buttons will do. So if you want to enter a different setting for example uh, you can change your gain settings all of that stuff. Again the most common features and adjustments you can now make directly uh, on the receiver. So this is just a quick audio sample of the Rode Wireless Pro. I'm outside, it's quite windy right now, and I put the little windscreen, so you can also see how that performs uh, with the wind hitting it. Now the audio you're hearing right now is the internal audio recorded in my camera, which is a Sony a7S III uh, through the receiver. But uh, I'm also recording the 32-bit float backup recording, so now I'm gonna switch to that. And this is how the internal 32-bit recording sounds. And now just for comparison, I plugged in the Rode LAV microphones that come with the Rode Wireless Pro kit. So you can kind of hear how that sounds. Again, it's very windy, so I had to put on the wind muff on it. And this is uh, the, how it sounds with the 32-bit float recording. Now I'm gonna switch the internal camera recording uh, going through the Rode uh, LAV microphone. Again, this is how it sounds on the Rode Wireless Pro wireless microphone kit. Now, another great little improvement is that when you connect the, the Rode Wireless Pro to the Rode Central app now, uh, you'll be able to, of course, as always, transcode the internal recordings to like a non-float format, whether it's 16, 24-bit, um, MP3, WAV, uh, whatever it is that you like. But uh, you can now also just directly drag and copy the original 32-bit float recordings off of the uh, internal memory cards in there. So again, it just speeds up the whole process. So as you guys can see, a lot of great features with this new Rode Wireless Pro. Uh, and really there's nothing bad so far that I found while testing this. Uh, now I do have a little sort of a wish list uh, that uh, maybe Rode can, can do. And that's, uh, well, two things. One is that I hope that they'll be able to release uh, basically these transmitters just on their own. And I think this would be a great option for those of you who, for example, are not interested in buying a whole wireless audio you know, microphone kit. But for example, let's say you just wanna have a tiny little but very powerful audio recorder. Well, you'll be able to just buy that if Rode were to release that. And like I said, right within it, you have amazing audio recording capabilities. Now, another wish list I have is that they would release sort of like this receiver, but without any of the wireless audio capabilities, but just with the time code jamming capabilities. And if they could do that for like, I don't know, 50, 70 bucks, something like that, I mean, that would essentially mean that you could now have a you know professional time code generator in a very small and, uh, and a very affordable uh, package. Now, when it comes to me, uh, like I said, I will have to return this because this is a, a loaner from B&H, but uh, I will be buying this for myself because as you've seen in this video, this kit uh, has amazing wireless capabilities. Uh, so for example, if you wanna have a wireless microphone kit, it has that, it has the time code generator. So if you need that, again, you have that built in. 
and it has a really amazing 32-bit uh, portable tiny little recorders. So if you just want to use that, again, you'll have it with the whole kit. As always, if you guys want more information, detailed specs, where you can find this, all the best deals right now, then just check out the description of this video or head on over to my website at tomantosfilms.com. That's it for this video. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.